Hello everyone, my name is Anton and Notion has a new release out, 2.1.0 and it brings some really nice features and customizations to it. So we now have the timeline view, you can hide properties in the, in the database, you can limit inline database roles, you can customize the pages a lot more than you could before. You can customize the backlinks and comments sections of the pages. And they've also released some more granular permission for sub pages as well. But before I get into the demo and show you some of these new features, go ahead and click that like button and also subscribe to the channel. It really helps get this channel noticed within YouTube so that others can see these videos as well. Okay, so now that you've done that, let's go ahead and get into it. First, let's go ahead and set up a couple pages where I can go ahead and show this as an example. We'll have a lab one and also a lab two page. And on this particular page, I really would just want to do a backlink over to lab one. Now, if we go to lab one, we can go ahead and set up a inline database here. We'll just call it projects. And let's go ahead and create some projects. Okay, so through the magic of editing, I sped that up for you. So we have 12 projects and I put 12 intentionally just to show one of the, the new features here that are brought in with this, um, where you can limit the number of rows on a page with inline tables. So first, let's go ahead and show the timeline view. And in order to get the timeline view, you wanna create a couple properties here. We'll have a start property We'll have an end property and let's actually change these so that they're a date property type. So we'll change those to dates and then we can come in here and we can say a start date there, then 12, we'll do this one 12 to 13, then 13 to 14 and maybe one from 11 to 14. And we'll leave the other ones blank for now. So in order to get the timeline view, we'll go to add view and we can see now that the new timeline is here. So we'll name this timeline and we will do create. So you can see here that it has created the view and it's pretty, pretty similar to a Gantt view here that we have now for this uh, database that we've created. Now we can see that the timeline has been created based on the start date, but what we want here is to have the timeline set by start and end date. So we need to go into the properties there and do use start and end dates. We'll enable that. And then we'll select the end date and we can see how that changed the uh, format or the view here appropriately. So this is what we wanted. Also, we want to go into the properties here. And if we go into properties, remember I set up four or uh, 12 projects. I want to come in here and show that if I change that to 10, you see how it limits now the number of rows within this inline database on this particular page. Now in this um, properties area here, we can also limit the what's seen, whether we wanna see the tags, the end date or start date in here as well. So this can be turned on and off as well. And we can also come in here if we don't wanna show the table, right? and we won't only wanna show the, the actual projects in the timeline, we can do that as well. So let's go back into the properties. 
we'll go ahead and show the table so that we can see the names of the projects on the left side and let's go ahead and customize or change the the duration of the timeline so we this is this is really nice here where we can change change the view so you can look at it by hours um, it of course increments down to the smallest level which is hours and you can go ahead and bump that up to days weeks bi-weekly even months and you know get just to get that visual view of your projects and that Gantt view of how you want it so this is a really nice um, feature add to this timeline being able to customize this here um, another piece that has been added for customization on the pages here is if we go up to the top you now get this customized page and the customized page allows you to change some of the settings on the page where you can show the the comments or how to turn them off so if you don't want comments shown on your page you can have those turned off now and also for the backlinks you can have it to where it's in the pop-up view to where you have to click on it and then it shows where that backlink is coming from or we can come in here we can do customize page we can expand that so it shows up automatically or we can just turn those off as well so those are just some page customizations that we can do one other thing that we can do here is if we go ahead and open up this one particular project so we're in one of the sub pages here now we can also customize these sub pages within the, uh, the database here so if we customize this here we can see the page view for projects which is the actual database that we've created the table we can customize what these pages look like so when you open them up you typically get this view where you have the properties and you have comments here shown this can now be disabled and turned off to where you don't see the comments you can also turn off or expand the backlinks if you have any backlinks there and you can also show or hide any of the properties now one good thing here too is that you can do hide when empty so if there is a property that has something in it it will show up but if it's empty then of course it will be hidden so th this is a really nice feature here as well because it having these properties if you have a lot of different properties on your database this could be really distracting when you open up your page then you have to scroll all the way down just to get to whatever the content is within this page okay so that was a quick look at the timeline view and some of the page customization features that were added in this current release this release and the customi customizations that come with it really allows you to kind of minimize the view to your liking so that you only see what you want to see and you're not cluttering up the pages and the views with a lot of content or properties that have no data or no value so the last feature that's in this update is that they have also added the capability to uh, get more granular on the sub page permissions um, i don't have teams enabled here so i won't be able to show that feature but if you have teams you can now customize the permissions a bit more granular than you could before okay so that's the timeline view and page customization notion has really knocked it out of the park i think with this particular update providing these uh, customizations and this new view let me know in the comments what you think about this these new updates to notion do you see value in them or not? If you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. My name is Anton. Until the next time, have a nice day.